Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the morning episode of Toothy Trivia. I'm your host, Emma, and I'm here to make brushing your teeth for two minutes fun and easy. I'm going to tell you about another show by Podcast Playground while you floss and get your toothbrush ready. So go ahead and get started with that. Wacky News has new episodes every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and is hosted by Jackson and Dylan. They are kids just like us, and each episode, with the help of the Wacky News Machine, they bring us a cool news story from around the world that is actually interesting to kids, not boring adult news. Each episode also has a number of kid-friendly wacky jokes that are sure to make you giggle. If you subscribe to Wacky News, you will always get the latest episodes and can impress your friends with cool stories and funny jokes on the bus, at school, during lunch, or whenever you want. Just go to podcastplayground.com to learn more about and subscribe to Wacky News. Now it's time to get those teeth of yours brushed. Are you ready? Let's go! Today's trivia theme is George Washington. We all know that George Washington was the first president of the United States, but there is more to this interesting man than that. He was the commander of the Continental Army who defeated a vastly more experienced and better armed British force in an eight-year conflict. George Washington may have owned one of the first goldfish in the United States. In May of 1786, Josiah Parker, a naval official, wrote to George Washington to tell him to expect an interesting gift, a pair of goldfish. A Dictionary of Facts and a Useful Knowledge, published in 1804, states that goldfish were bred that year in the United States, 18 years after Washington had his. This is interesting. He was not born on February 22, 1732, Washington was actually born on February 11, 1731. But when the colony switched to the Gregorian calendar from the Julian calendar, his birthday was moved 11 days, since his birthday fell before the old date for New Year's Day. But after the new date for New Year's Day, his birth year was changed to 1732. Nobody will ever rank higher than him in the U.S. military, When Washington died, he was lieutenant general, but as the centuries passed, this three-star rank did not seem to equal to what he had accomplished. After all, Washington did more than defeat the British in battle. Along the way, he established the framework for how American soldiers should organize themselves, how they should behave, and how they should relate to civilian leaders. He was the father of the U.S. military as well as the U.S. itself. So a law was passed to make Washington the highest ranking U.S. officer of all time, General of the Armies of the United States. Nobody will ever outrank him. And you're done. Weren't those two minutes easy? And don't forget to go to podcastplayground.com and subscribe to Toothy Trivia so you can get every episode and never rush your brushing again.